Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install OptiFabric for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, all you wanna do is go to your search bar, and search up modwinf, like so. Here, once you enter, you'll see modwinf.com here. Just go on modwinf, and this will bring you to the modwinf homepage. So from there, all you want to do is go to discover content here on the top of the website, and you want to go down to mod packs. Now, all you want to do is go to search mod packs, and you want to type in OptiFabric, like so. Here you'll find OptiFabric here, so just click on that, and that will bring you to the OptiFabric homepage. So from there, all you want to do is go to versions, and now you want to go to game versions, and you want to select what game version you want to play. I'm going to select the latest one. Okay. Here, all you want to do is find the version that you indeed chose, and if it is, what you want to do is simply stay on this website, but you actually want to open up a new website to download the jar files directly. This is because if you click this green download button, you're gonna have a file which works with the modern app, but not with other launchers. So I'm gonna show you how to make this work with any other launchers, as well as the modern app, technically. So, what I'm gonna do here is simply go ahead and open up a new tab, and search up something called mrpack to zip, like so. So here, you'll find a website called modern pack to zip converter here. And all you have to do is click on this website, which I will have linked in the description as well. And from there, all you want to do is simply go ahead and scroll down until you see download from URL. This is the one we want. So what you want to do here is simply go back to modern. Here, remember the green download button here? Well, now you want to right click it. Here, it is going to bring up some links. And what you have to do here is do copy link address right here. And now, what you want to do is go back to the modern pack to zip converter. Then you want to go ahead and go to the text box. And you want to go ahead and right click again and click paste. Like so. So it should look something like this. So remember what we did. We went to this. We right clicked. We copy linked address. And we went to here and pasted in download from URL. Once you have it in there, just do download. And this just downloads the pack for you. And this will download it under the form of a zip. So basically, here we now have our zip here with 27 megabytes worth of mods. And this is it done for this. But what you need to do here is get yourself fabric. So to run these mods, you need to go ahead and go to a new tab and you want to search up fabric minecraft like so. Here, you'll find fabricmc.net. Just click on fabric. And this will bring you to the fabric homepage. And here, all you want to do is go to the blue download button. And now you want to go to the blue download for Windows button here. And now, if we go here, we have fabric installer. And we also have the OptiFabric mod pack. Although we do need to wait a couple seconds for it to go ahead and validate. You can see this. Well, it was under the green line, basically, when it says done, but you forward whether to green line, so now it is done. If both of your files says done, you're all good, and you can now go ahead and close your web browser. But now, you can go to your file explorer, and now you can go to your downloads folder, and this should show up. So you should see Fabric Installer and OptiFabric, and the first thing we want to do here is go ahead and extract OptiFabric here. So what you want to do here is go ahead and select OptiFabric. You want to right click it. Now you want to go to Extract All. Then you want to do Extract. And now you're done. So if we go in this, you will see that we have config and mods. And we will deal with these files a bit later. But now what's important is that you should see three items. So at least three new items here. And what you want to do is just go to Fabric Installer, you want to double click it, and it is going to bring up with this little installer here. So for the Minecraft version, make sure this Minecraft version here matches OptiFabric, and if it does, just do install. Okay, and close. And now what you want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher, 
And now we have the Minecraft launcher here. So all you want to do here is just wait a tiny bit and then you should see Fabric Loader. So if you have this, that means you can go to Installations here. Then you can go to Fabric again and go to the folder icon. Now all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to Downloads again. Here you want to double click the Opti Fabric Mod Pack. You should see two files now, Mods and Config. So just select both of them and copy them. Now you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your PS folder. And you want to keep doing this until you see DOM Minecraft here. Once you do, click paste. And you're done. So now all you have to do is go to the Minecraft launcher. Then you want to go to play. Make sure Fabric Loader is selected and click play. And now all you have to do is wait for everything to download, install and open up. Okay, so here we now have Opti Fabric. You can see this by Fabric here, the number of mods we have, and you can just click on the mods button and you'll see a bunch of performance mods, as well as our shaders here for Optifine shaders. So what you have to do here is just go to a single player world, a server or a realm, and then you can go ahead and try out Opti Fabric. So here we'll notice that once we'll be in a world like so that we can go ahead and check out that if we go to settings options and we have our video settings that we have these different settings here and this is basically what optifabric does here is that it gives us a lot of performance boost options as well as shader pack support for Optifine like experience, but for fabric. So, yeah, that's what OptiFabric is, and that is how we get OptiFabric for Minecraft Java. So, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!